Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, man, I'm saying. I'm gonna okay. tell you about this good fucking day. It's Your boy Give me 30 with yeah. the dirty 30. Being yeah. the realest nigga on earth, you heard? Hey, the little, little PayPal sent them funds through. That just made my day. Hey, pack just hit my lungs too. That just made my day. I detail my Jeep seats. That just Dallas. Made my day. Uh, what up? My green tea. What it do, baby? Day. Yeah. PayPal sent them funds through. Just made my day. Uh, All right, Mario. My yeah. Just yeah. Day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This shit fire, man. This shit fire, bro. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good, everyone? What's good? What's good? This is Give Me 30 with the Dirty 30. Episode 0, 2, 3. Big Michael Jordan Jordan's bitch. Episode, man. Damn. Big Jordan episode. I'm on the Jordan episode. You are, man. That's perfect. And that's crazy because <laughs> that's perfect. Because of that right there. That's crazy. And he on the Jordan episode. That's wild, man. But this is your host, Russ Maurice, aka the Black James Bond. And you already know I got my co-host in the building. You know what it is, Trey Jackson, aka Wolf Play 13. Yeah, dead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we got a special guest up in the house to close the year with us. This is the mm. last episode of the year. So next time you see us, it will be the new year, God willing. Okay. Coach Ted, what's up, man? Man, what's good, man? What's good, bro? Hey, we Hello, glad if to y'all got, I got AKAs, too. What you mean? Shit, y'all got... You nigga, oh, Coach, y- Coach Tev, a.k.a. Young Greg Popovich. You know oh, what I mean? Shit. A.k.a. Young Cody Bryant. Okay. You feel me? A.k.a. Young Brad Stevens in this hole, you know? Okay. Sweet oh, life of Zach and Cody. You I know like what I mean? it. Well, excuse me, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off early on that shit, but bet, man. So, shout out to all the subscribers, listeners. Please like, comment, subscribe. Share. Oh, yeah. Shit, I always forget, bro. You know. Hey, look. Please share. That's why you're here, man. I be, I be waiting for him to mess up on that every time. So, anyways, that song at the beginning, guys was October 15th, man, from this man it's over just, here. It's just Oc 15. Oh, Oc 15. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck man, with you. I like it. I like it. I fucks with it, bro. I, that, I fucks with you already, bro. For real, for real. He, he got me on that shit, for real. But anyways, y'all, that's from the man over here from the new project. No worries. This is fine. The EP, man. If y'all have not streamed that, go run that, bro. Stop go sleeping. Run that. Go show mm-hmm. some love. And he from right here, right? Dallas? Irving, Irving Texas, man. Oh, Irving, Texas, Specifically, bro. Specifically, yeah. Dallas, yeah. Texas. I mean, to niggas that are outside, but niggas that are inside Dallas. Irving, Texas. Yes, sir. I got to put more love on Irving, Texas. Irving, Texas don't really get love like that, you know? We overlooked by the the Lancasters, the Cedar Hills, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Niggas don't really fuck with Irving like that. I like that, bro. I like that. And shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to y'all. So... I want to know, man, I kind of got an idea already, but Mm -hmm. what inspired the whole No Worries, This Is Fine EP, man, when you put that together? Yeah. So, yeah, like I was telling y'all off mic, um, I caught COVID in mid-October. Right. Right. So I was already working on, because my last uh, EP I put out was Cody, and that was in September 2019. So I was already working on, like, my next shit and just a few other albums I had on the tuck. But then when I caught COVID, um, yeah, mid-October, and I was just, you know, I was really, really in the crib. You know, I was kind of mm-hmm. in the crib first, you know, because of just the quarantine, but I really couldn't go nowhere for like right. two and a half weeks, three weeks solid. Right. So, you know, am I a rapper if I don't just rap when I have the opportunity to, you know? Right. So, like, I I think I recorded maybe three or four tracks during that time. And... uh and yeah, and just decided like, yeah, let, let me let me let me let me find something. Let me find a way to like time capsule this mm-hmm. moment right now. You know what I mean? Right. Because I think that's the the best part about like music and art in general, right? Like mm-hmm. you can you can time capsule like what's going on because you can't. It's hard to like retap into that feeling, you know, as opposed yeah. to like doing it when you like have the genuine feelings right there. You know, it's easiest to talk about. I mean, some people can talk about better in retrospect, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. But, so no, no, no. You talked about catching it again. No, 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 no. Did I? Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure that's what you said. That's, you said that's what like I got, that. too. I thought you said you had got it a couple times. Or I said I tested po- positive again. 
But then after that, I said for being the realest nigga That's on earth. What I thought. Okay, okay. I listened yeah, I was... to that shit again when I was driving <laughs> home, and I heard that. Niggas and didn't I was read like, the Apple That's music lyrics. He... Man, bet. <laughs> no. That's what I thought. So I should have went with my first mind. No, I was listening, driving, and listening uh, <laughs> while I was at work. So yeah. like when I heard that, I was like, damn, how many times this nigga catch that shit? <laughs> Every time I play that for somebody for the first time, they make a comment on that line because I pause, right? Mm-hmm. So they make a comment before I come back in and say the second part. So they're like, damn, nigga, you caught it again? Yeah. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. Just... Your muse is some shit, man. <laughs> I, I like what you did with that. Yeah, I like what you do. Appreciate it. So... I came across you on Instagram, man, and it was perfect timing because, like, you were about a couple days away from dropping that project when I, like, really started following you. Mm-hmm. And um, so, boom, I listened to the project, and I noticed on Apple Music that you had, like, a large body of work b- dating back from, like, 2015. Mm-hmm. Correct? That's when I that's when I changed my name to Coach Tab. Okay, bet. So how how long have you been an uh, artist or rapping? Um, I've been recording, I guess, since... Like 19, 18, 19. Okay. So I'm 28 now. Bam. So about 10 years. Damn, that's, that's a long time. Yeah. Yeah, for real. You say oh, 28? Mm-hmm. Man, that's what's up. All head ass like, niggas. Fuck. <laughs> this, this, bro. Hey, man, we wise in this bitch. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, man. They be hitting me with this Very grandpa wise. rush shit. But I'm just like, man, I haven't even hit 30 yet, bro. We Wait, still how are you? 24. Ah, nigga, I didn't, I didn't see it on. Nigga, we in 24. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, back in my day at 24. Right. That was good times. That was good times. It's crazy a four-year difference, too. Like, But anyways, man, so I was going to ask you, what inspired you, talking about your large body of work, like what inspired you to start being an artist and really start taking your craft seriously and putting projects out all streaming? This shit fun, honestly. Like I like like creating shit, and uh, if I'm going to do that, then I'm going to do it at like the highest... You know, quality that I can do it. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do what other artists had did before me, as far as like inspire the next wave of people. You know what I mean? Yeah, amen. So, got them Earl yeah. Sweatshirt vibes to you. For real, I, I, I really fuck with the project, man. Be- beginning to end, one thing that like solidified me fucking with your project is the fact when I was done with it, mm-hmm. I had to like listen to it again. And sure then and sweet, you know, you run it back twenty I like, minutes, bro. That's that's smart, just for the streaming and especially just especially if like if you a a new um, like person to come across to my music, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. You, have, you got so much music coming out Which on the mean? daily. I'm not trying to bombard niggas with a 18 album. You know what I mean? 18 track album. I don't even want to sit and listen to it. I, I was just right about now. to say, you know I mean? think we're past those days, are we not? When you come out with like a for, 25 song album, not for um, major artists, like. Cause it's a streaming game for them. I don't know. I feel like a lot of artists have like more of a ringtone kind of vibe to them. Like if like one to two minute songs. Oh, back well, yeah, in the day, yeah, you yeah, get like joints, them five yeah. to seven minute songs. It's, yeah, yeah. Like in the seventies, them niggas had like nine minute songs. Some Marvin Gaye shit. shit. So <laughs> fucking like, uh, oldies by Art Future, like, ten minutes. Just did the hook like for ten real, times. Man. Nah, but like big artists, like if Migos and shit drop, like this shit's gonna be like twenty tracks because. It's a streaming game right now. You know what I mean? For, or for, be a nigga know. Chris Brown drop like 70 Man, yeah, songs he went at OD. Time. <laughs> he went OD. So I guess that, that uh, so on to his point that he made, if you're a major artist, you can pull that shit off. Because like, yeah, Chris, they, they were still running that shit up when he dropped that shit too. And I, I was like, damn, he dropped that much music at one time? Like, that's just, it's a lot of damn music, bro. Like, yeah. It's a lot to listen to. What's been your favorite song you've recorded all together? Damn, ever? Yeah, ever. Hmm. Mm. Damn, man. Let me see. Um, I think the song that I'm most proud of, I don't know if it's my favorite because I really can't listen to it like that no more. I made this song called Linda Faye back in um like 2017, I think. And it was about my grandma passing. And like usually I'd be on my like cool, cool guy rap shit. Mm-hmm. But like for me to like tap into that, you know. That shit just hit different to like get that out. So that might be my favorite track is for that reason. That's what's up, bro. That. For sure. I didn't even know we had that in common, bro. That's what's up. What? Grandma passing? Or what you mean? Not only that, but I had song this song it. called mm-hmm. Rocky Road on my very it's first one of my EP. favorite songs of his. I appreciate mm-hmm. that. And what it touches me about it is the fact that, yeah, I put those lines talking about my grandma because that's like it's what inspired me to even make the whole project. So, yeah, bro. That's my favorite shit ever. Shit always hit different, be. man. Yeah, for real. Yeah, but outside of that, that's kind of a 
downer a little bit. My next favorite would probably be, um, man, so I got this project called I Fell in Love with My Mistress. Hmm. And I put that out in 20, like 2018. Okay, not too far away. And what song? I got this song. Mm. Ah, okay, I'm married now, so let me leave that. <laughs> I, <need to> go, <laughs> Look, I ain't I gonna get to that bro. bag. <laughs> I understand. Well, congratulations. Yeah, on yeah, being yeah married, appreciate though. it. But no, nah, I got, I got, I like how I put it together on some, uh, on some shit. Cause like a lot of it was based before I was dating mm-hmm. my wife at that time. So a lot of it was kind of based around that. But I feel like I really tapped into like a, a feeling. Like I got the song called Mistress on there and a song called um, uh, Sin City. And I'm in my like, I'm in my like uh, storytelling bag, mm-hmm. but I like really like kind of express. No, me, you, and my friends probably my favorite. That whole project, like I really like how I like told that yeah, yeah, story yeah. in a loose way. But I was able to really tap into like the idea of like the the adrenaline of lust. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like I feel like I really kind of tapped into that at, at I think I was your age, bro. So I was, you know. It was Dottie, you know what I mean? Dottiana. <laughs> How you meet your wife? <laughs> so I've known I've known my wife since uh high school. We went to high school together. But wow. you know, she wasn't even checking for the kid at the time. You know what I mean? But it wasn't until we went to mm. UNT together. And then that's kinda how we rekindled that. You know what I mean? I had to glow up, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's what's up. You know what I mean? And then yeah. And then we, we didn't start dating until after I got out of school. It's like twenty sixteen. Yeah, man. It's crazy how things fall in place, bro. Yeah, hey, man. It's beautiful. So we coming to the end of the year. Moving into 2021. 20, right? Oh my gosh, yes, bro. Like it has been. I'm sure none of us in this room will ever forget this year. Um, I don't know. I'm like, for the, stop by. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean, bro. Like, you're gonna think of 2020, you're gonna see it on some somewhere. And those thoughts will come They're going to have memes about 2020 forever. Exactly. There we go. We live in the internet age. Man. But to my question, I was going to ask you, what's your, like, big plan for 2021? Have you, or Man, my biggest, I really wanted to tour. I was That was my plan for this year. Mm-hmm. But, of course, yeah. So, man, outside of that, um, I don't know, bro. I'm still trying to figure that out, honestly. Nothing wrong with that. I need bro. to. I need to. I need to get my goal sheet together, honestly. <laughs> I feel you, bro. I yeah. usually do mine on the third of the new year, so I'm. I'm oh, at the top you. of the year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah niggas be telling the me they time. be having that shit since summer type shit. And I applaud know? them too. You know, they early. They getting a head start on that shit, but you know, it it, it at your own pace, really, bro. Like, oh wait, you talking about music or just in general? No, in general, in general, yeah. I just got my passport, so I want to travel more outside of U.S. I like Hell that, yeah, bro. I got to get some other cultures in my life. I like that. I Hopefully need to this shit whack out here, boy. Me too. Shit, I'm just tired of this fucking America shit, boy. This shit. Every day, man. I've, I've been to Cancun one time, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. I mean, it was lit, though. Uh, I got Cancun. drunk as fuck. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you been out the country? No, that's what I'm saying. I just got oh, my passport. Bro. Okay, I just bro. got my shit. Yes, you're going to love it. Where you, where you been? Uh, bro. Uh, You've been everywhere. Yeah. A lot of places. Yeah, you're traveling. Yeah. You uh, no, it's, I was blessed uh, for my parents to put me into this like student exchange program when mm. I was in 11th grade. And I'm not going to lie, I really did not want to go because uh, I thought it was going to be like some few days type of shit. Like, you know, we still kids at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, no, you're going to be gone for three weeks. Nigga, that's almost a month. Like Outside summer, America. Summer? It was in the summer or some shit? Yes. Yes. Oh, so you want to be like at the crib kicking in for the summer. and, and they the, like, uh, Not only that, but that's just too, uh, like, bro, I'm not in America. I'm going to a whole nother culture, a whole nother everything for th- for almost a month. Not and with your parents either. Now, exactly. With all these kids that I don't know from different schools and stuff like that. Shit, my mom would have never thought about doing that with me. She was like, nah, you're, you're a little badass who get yourself in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, so that's yeah, how you that happened. Yeah, trouble in, in overseas is a different kind of, kind Bro, of every, trouble. Bro, exactly. every <laughs> summer, every summertime, my mom's like, "Are you getting moved out? You going to this family members this for this summer? Get your shit together." 
I actually thought about bringing Tree with me on one of the trips too, but I was like, you know what? It's not worth you going. Don't want that to- oh my gosh, bro! It is not worth going to another one of these countries. Damn, you remember these it- speaking <laughs> another language? When I was in Cancun, yeah. I actually you, bought some weed here. from a fucking uh, bartender. <laughs> hey, it's Mexico, man. Like, Thanks. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That shit crazy out there though. Speed limits are like seventy to eighty miles an hour. Like man, back streets. Our, taxi, our, our taxi, uh, our taxi drivers, like yeah, like sometimes you know, uh, I give women free rides if they have sex with me. We're like, where do you have sex at? They're like, oh, back there. We're like, oh hell no, nah, bro. You clean these seats. Oh, <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> so which Cancun and nigga told you that, <laughs> bro? Nah, <laughs> we was like, bro, hurry up and drop us off. <laughs> I was gonna ask what y'all think about the COVID vaccine, bro. Um, I don't man. trust it. <laughs> it's too, it, that vaccine came up I've, too damn quick. Yeah, but I've I've asked a lot of like, I got this one homie who's like a he's like a scientist, damn near pretty much. Like he's in school still at like, for the shit, and mm-hmm. like he actually like does tests and shit on like genes and genomes, so he like really knows the shit. And he vouched for it as far as like. It's just it's just it's just sucks because anything that like the government does that's like at a a large type of like very very mainstream then like we're always gonna throw doubts at it because we just don't trust the fucking government right mm-hmm. but from a scientific point the vaccine is supposed to be like it's supposed to be very beneficial you know what I mean like that's what they're saying on the news of course yeah but, but like, I mean that's that's what I've heard a few scientists say so unless Oh, okay. That nigga in it too, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? But like mm-hmm. he the homie, you know. I've known him for for <laughs> yeah, a while, yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So that makes sense. It's just I'm I'm just I'm I'm weary on the first few rounds. Then niggas still got to work the kinks out. Right. But as far as you saying like it was too quick, like I also heard that like it's one of, it is quick, but they also had like mad niggas working on it. Oh my bad, no, mad niggas straight. working on it at the same time. So that's kind of how it was able. To, they were able to like produce it very, you know. Yeah, that's but, true. But I heard like like a scientist came out and was like, nah, I know it take about like ten to fifteen years to get a I mean, vaccine. Yeah, it's, it's always so for it to come out in less is, than a year, kind of. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm not cool. lining up for the motherfucker. But, right, right, but uh, me either. But also, like, I'm, I'm I am trying to since I did catch it before, like I'm more so thinking about like I'm trying to prevent like I don't want my parents to get it. You know what I mean? I don't want their parents to get it. Like, so I'm trying to figure out right. ways to like. You know, I'm just I'm not really worried about myself catching it anymore. I just don't want to. I don't want to be passing a motherfucker to the niggas no, that can't me. that ain't gonna you. just bounce back like me and Asia. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, like my mom can't get it because she that. she's diabetic. She has asthma. She has like a bunch you know of like disease. Like if she catches, she she out of there. <laughs> yeah, and I, I I can't have that on my conscience. You know, so I'm trying to figure out any way I can to prevent from you know. Yeah. So I don't know. I just got I gotta keep looking at more into the shit. I barely see my mama signing and tripping about that. Uh, Whoa. Anyways, you watch sports, my <laughs> man? Yeah, I was kind of. Yeah, <laughs> that, like, dark, like well, I like no. I used to see her a lot, but like because of all this, that's the reason why I barely see her. I yeah, like <laughs> it ain't it ain't nothing wrong there. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Damn, that's. Anyways, no, like it's I life, said, bro. It's life. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It, that's why I said I don't even know what, what to really say to that. But as far as yeah, of course I'm I'm the coach. I gotta watch some sports, right? Right, right. right. So <laughs> only basketball, really. I don't really pay attention to much else. Who's your squad, man? I ain't really got a squad, bro. Ever since Kobe retired, I ain't really have a squad like that. Negan um, on West. Kobe right? squad and uh, so the Lakers and Rest the Suns. In peace, Kobe. Yeah, of course. And then uh, Phoenix Suns back in the Nash Amari Stoudemire days. That was my favorite team too. Right now, nigga, I just like I just like watching the shit. It's just just tight to, uh, you know, I, don't, I don't care who wins. Like I said, get it, on Houston, that nigga y'all niggas done. <laughs> it's, this get is a rap on that nigga Westbrook. No, 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 you can't do that. You can't it's, do that it's here. It's a rap. It's a rap for Houston. I'm sorry, nah, it bro. isn't, man. We still in it, bro. Y'all weren't even in it then. <laughs> I ain't <laughs> been in it. Y'all have not been the top. I thought I had a lot of faith in niggas. He doesn't right. have a team, so I can't really. So I can talk I, mad exact, shit to anything. Exactly. Yeah, that's what. That's <laughs> what. Oh, you niggas suck, bro. Right? I'm yeah, about to so check you don't watch out the football. I'm about to check Not out the really. Wizards. I ain't never really watched the Wizards though. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's gonna Fuck be. That's gonna man. be interesting. That's yeah, exactly. Be interesting. It's gonna be a nice little mix. So that's what I say. You should check them out, bro. It's my dad's squad. I mean, Westbrook on the team now, so you know. I got to, to bro. Fuck I said you're a Wizards fan. I do too, bro. That's why I was telling him he be on doing FaceTime, some dumb shit, but like I like that energy. I like that Mamba I, I mentality. Like nigga, yeah, I like a nigga going for blood. Like I like seeing that shit. 
Yeah, dunk on shit. a nigga and let him know. Like, yeah, fuck nigga. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> yeah, shit. bro. I love that shit. For real, for real, bro. Well, I was. You said you don't really fuck with football, so I guess I won't really get into yeah, that. I don't even know. I fly don't know Eagles, Pat fly. Mahomes is that nigga, and that's it. He is that nigga. <laughs> I would love to be a Chiefs fan, but that's yeah. not how we rocking over here. Nah. So. Oh, okay. No, I, I see. I see what's going on. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But, anyways, so y'all heard about um, Wayne selling his masters. And yeah, and I heard I think today that it was the whole catalog, so like even Young Money shit. It, yeah, yeah, it was like some Drake shit, some Nicki Minaj shit included in the package. I believe the, the only package. reason why he's <laughs> gonna do it for Universal is because since that nigga's probably about to be facing up to ten years. That's what I was thinking. But that I don't, nigga, I don't like, really once know. he get out, he done for anyways. That nigga old as hell anyways. Like, what? He, by the time he get out, he's already be retired anyway. So might as well just sell everything now. So why? For just strictly for the money, or what do you? Because well, as the, opposed just, to what? That's why I'm asking. What, why strictly, did he do this? Strictly for the money, just because he's about he'll be retiring soon anyway. So he about to get locked up for ten years. What do you think he'll get out in ten years to drop another tape? Hell, Damn, his well, old ass. Ain't ain't a, I don't know if he's gonna he'll get be locked up. He 50, might be right. You don't think he's gonna beat it? I think he will. Not. Nah, he already pled guilty. I know. And he's already a did felon. He for like, yeah, he pled guilty. Have you pled guilty to anything? No, nah, but that nigga's already a felon for how I understand. Like, but have you pled guilty to anything? No, nah, correct? Okay, no, so but it's I, even then. All right. I'm all I'm gonna tell you is even though you plead guilty, you don't know what type of shit that the DA and all the judge and all them people unfortunately I, I haven't dealt with dealt with no like felony shit, all misdemeanors, thank God. But I've been dealing with the system so much that bro, it's so much fucking shit that goes on. Mm-hmm. Bro, that we don't even know about the news reports about just so much and what they can see, what they allow them to see in the courtroom. But you don't know, like you don't know what that nigga's gonna work out. That could probably be part of. That's why, in ways, I that's feel like true. you're correct. He might have sold that shit for okay. This this is collateral. I, so he, he might get like of, less time or something. Like maybe. I could see Man, that. I, maybe I don't know. I, I don't. hope he don't go down like that because he was. I'm sure he was at some point in your life. He was your favorite rapper. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm very uh, it was Eminem inspired and by Wayne. Man. Drake and Wayne was my favorite combo in high yeah. school, bro. Like, that shit was... Anytime I saw them on a record... You knew. Play. When, when Wayne play. and I remember M the first time play. I heard Ransom. Instant I play. Like, Wayne and M like, together the, the always... Degrassi, could. nigga? My Rapping fa- like this? <laughs> my, I know. Oh, I thought the up. same thing when I saw when I heard uh, So Far Gone. I was like, whoa. When that nigga went uh, on 106 Park. Like man. Body. Hey, when that went a rapper nigga, for real? <laughs> when that nigga went on 106 Park. Yeah, I hope I ever got to go back to the wheelchair again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. nah. He, and he wasn't. Once I heard Wayne on the track, I was like, nah, he's no, Degrassi's over. Yeah, nah, All that shit is yeah. done. It Level is done. Up. My favorite by them is uh, Ignis Bit, though. That was the second joint I heard. And I was like, that's when I was, I was like, okay, he's solidified. He can rap. <laughs> yeah, them niggas killed that yes, shit, yeah. bro. I was like, Jay Z is proud. I know he's got to be. But yeah, that shit wild, bro. For real, for real. So I remember before the show off, Mike, we was talking about um, the love in Dallas. You had tweeted mm-hmm. some not too long ago where you were talking about, like, hey, you don't want to see the. Dallas don't support Dallas no more because it's real love out here. I just kind of wanted you to like em- emphasize that for the people and shit. Like, yeah, I mean, shit. It's it's really all about what you choose to focus on, right? Like, there's always gonna be the naysayers and niggas that's not supporting you and whatever, whatever. But like, you spend your energy worrying about that, then you neglecting the niggas that do fuck with you, and you neglecting like, you know, yeah, the people that fuck with you, and they'll like they'll share your shit for you. Like, they'll speak it for you if you, like, show them you appreciate it, you know? But sure. nobody wants to, like, nobody wants to see the nigga that they like talking about, oh, niggas don't, niggas don't fuck with me. I'm like, bro, I, I played your shit yesterday. What you talking about? Like, yeah. you just look bitter. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't want to, you don't want to look bitter. Straight up. Yeah, you know, there's, there's mad, there's a whole community out here in this, the underground music scene or whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of love, bro. Just, just, just focus on that, man. You can sit around and focus on the other shit if you want to, but it ain't productive. For real, bro. It's, it's, it's really that simple. For real, I agree with you, bro. I agree. I just wanted you to get into that real quick. So, I know you said you wanted to do the freestyle, man. You, uh, oh, yeah, nigga, we can rap. Yeah, yeah I was say you ready for the action. Yeah, yeah. Well, Mario, whenever you ready, we could play that beat. Mm-hmm. Make sure this host turned up too in the headphones. I, I like to. 
I gotta zone in on it. Bet, bet. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Young, young Cody Bryant in this hoe, you know. Hall of Fame worthy. I mean, no worries, this is fine out right now. Cody out right now. All right. Hey, showed up early. Comfy in my Nike sweats, I'm on at 10.30. But I still rock this bitch, I promise I ain't worried. Nah, never hurry. I didn't put in practice, so by now it's just muscle memory. Deadly with the shooter's touch. Used to have compassion in me, the hustle broke me out of it. Sorry if I'm hardly friendly, that's just how I ain't moving now. Mental note of who's been down. I can't tell you how the hood works, cause I'm not around. But I can show you plays that could work. When I'm out of town, they popping out the fucking woodworks like a bass and hound. I was told that if I had the knowledge, I should pass it down. Serving them collection plates, my money getting passed around. Yeah. I said, uh, I said, yeah, yeah, uh, serving them collection plates, my money getting, hey, I might slide through, if you gonna lie, then I'ma lie too, yeah, I was anchored down by women I wasn't tied to, yeah, blinded by my side view, hey, ain't that the truth, at the intersection, throwing pennies out the roof, look, I don't like change, I like sticking to my roots, uh I got mad styles, but I got like a group, uh Hold on, hold on, man, let me get in this mm. Y'all feeling me a little bit? Oh, let me, a little bit, let me, let me Let me, let me, let me, yeah. find, let me find yeah. the groove real quick, okay? It's, uh, get, get, um, give me 30 I say, I say, I'ma slide, I'ma do this from the tip top I'm that nicest nigga in this fucking hip hop I don't know what they be saying, but they need to kick rocks Ooh. Yeah Smoking on that fucking big pot, yeah. I'm at the top like it's TikTok, yeah. I don't really fuck with TikTok. <laughs> hey, niggas on this slip knot. Okay, hold on. Hey. Mm. I mean, am I just rapping by myself? Niggas, niggas freestyle too. What's up? <laughs> niggas on freestyle? Nah, not nah, today. Nah, nah, <laughs> not right now. Not right now. Not today. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. nah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, paranoid. I'm having casualties no one in my rear view but i feel somebody's after me but they ain't mad as me flash black mad at jeep flashbacks on high fled the scene so dramatically you ain't gonna play me for no fool i did my homework major leap of me just trying to pick who they gonna clone first who they gonna strip down cold red pimp down distortion make you and make you skip town look method's been round hey caught you with that yay must think you chris brown yeah, caught you with Kanye, you out in Tinseltown Thought you came to write, that's cute, but put your pencil down Try to smear my name, pick a crime and say that I did it Piss right on your head, look around and say the sky did it Man, <laughs> I ain't trying to get y'all all the sauce, that's Man. just a little bit though This nigga over here, good low Good low To you pass know? that good beat, load. it's dinner time Oh yeah, my, yeah, man, yeah. what? d bro He said, bro it's Thanksgiving every day, you know. Oh shit, man! So Christmas coming soon. There's y'all's Yo, present, bro. Just a little bit, a little bit on release shit. You, I got my nigga. You set the bar for twenty one G. Trying to set it yeah, up, man. man Trying to throw it bar, off the glass. Man. Yeah, bro. For a nigga, you know. I man, I fucks with that heavy man. Five stars, and uh, appreciate you coming through to bless us with that. Oh yeah, easy. It's Coach Anytime, Ten, people. Bro. Top five of all freestyles that we've had so far. No worries. This is fine. Yeah, man. Y'all go run that, man. Please run that shit, you know? So, bro, you got any shout-outs before we close the show, man? Anything you want to say to the people before we man, wrap this up? Gotta shout out the wifey, man. She out with her homegirls, you know, doing, you know, whatever they doing. <laughs> so, right, shout, shout out the wifey, man. Oh, man. Shout out the homies. Shout out Blake Chris. Shout out y'all for pulling me, you know, having me come through, man. Always. Shout out the big man upstairs for, you know... I woke up today, you know, nigga sure. blessed. You know what I mean? I for can't sure. complain about much. We all are. Yeah, sure. man. Yeah, bro. That's what's up, man. I could, I could, I could shout out a lot of niggas. You know what I mean? I, feel you. So I, I don't even want to get in that. You bags. don't want to forget anybody. I don't type forget shit. anybody. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I'll be here all night, man. I got a lot of people <laughs> that I'm thankful for in my life for sure. I feel you, bro. 
I feel that energy for sure, for sure. Well, we appreciate having you for sure. Trey, you got any uh, shout outs, man? Shouts out to the Ad family. Shouts out to all my niggas. Yeah. I love y'all. Shouts out to the uh, uh, subscribers. You know, thank y'all. <laughs> like he accepting the award and shit. <laughs> thank y'all. Anyways, so uh, I'm going to wrap this shit up, man. Shout out to all the fam. Shout out to all the Av fam. Shout out to the wifey. Shout out to Coach Tev, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate having you, big dog. Appreciate you, man. For real, man. For real. And uh, like I said, y'all go stream that project. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. Like, subscribe, comment, share. All that. This is Give Me 30. Mario, you go ahead and drop that. Trey, what the fuck, man? <laughs> is this yeah, shit right yeah, here, y'all? That's but embarrassing, my nigga, but thank day. you, bro. Yeah. This, this is going to be a lit ass show anyway. Yeah, like, he, he said it. But goddamn, yeah. though, really? Like 30 yeah, more seconds? Nerf, you heard. What the? Hey. hey. This classic hey. give me 30. You better keep this shit. That just made my day. Yeah. Hey, you better keep that. You better keep this shit. This is great. All right, Trey. Ginger in my green tea. That just made my day. Yeah. PayPal sent the funds through. That just made my day. Cash app notifications, baby. That just made my day. I detail my Jeep That just made my day. Good night. She said that she needs me. It's give me 30. Hey, hey, look at me. 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 Look at me.